video blog. Welcome to part two of my kind of like jewelry rack uh, DIY series that I've just started here. Um, this one is actually just going to be a necklace holder and it's another really simple, really easy one to do and it's super cheap as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it and if you like it, please uh, remember to hit like and subscribe so that I know to make more of these for you guys. But I'm just going to kind of get to it and show you the final product, which you would have seen in the opening intro anyways. But here it is. It is a necklace holder just made out of like a little piece of wood. Um, if you watch the first DIY that I did for um, the other jewelry holder, um, you'll see that it was a big long piece of spruce wood that I mentioned. This is just like kind of random cutoffs from that piece of wood. So when I went to the hardware store, I asked them to cut it into three, this eight foot um, piece of wood, cut it into three, and then each of those threes, um, I also got cut into three as well. And that's how I came up with this size, which is the perfect size. I don't even know what the size is, you guys. I didn't even measure it. I just knew it looked perfect for my necklaces. So what it is, is it's two pieces of wood um, held together by a hinge. And that's it. I bought the wood, I stained it, and then I screwed in the hinge after measuring it out. Um, one detail that I do show in the video that you don't have to do if you don't want to um, is I kind of sawed into the top of it so that there's little grooves for the necklaces to rest in so that they don't slide off. Um, I found that was helpful and you can also put in more of those kind of saw marks and that way um, you know the necklaces will just sit snugly in there. Also one part that I didn't show in the DIY because I did this afterwards is I added some nails in the back to kind of catch the necklaces as well to hook them onto so that they don't slide off so you can kind of just pull them up and hook them on there and that way they don't slide out of the front but you know these are all just little custom things that you kind of discover as you're going thanks for watching bye so what you'll need is two pieces of wood, your hinge kit, a measuring tape, a screwdriver, a pencil, and a little hand saw. You'll take your two pieces of wood and you'll line them up and you're going to measure out just exactly where you want to make your first cuts for the little grooves that the necklaces are going to rest into. This is a step that I mentioned um, earlier that you can skip if you don't want to do. This wood is highly textured, so it's not 100% necessary. The necklaces won't slide around too much, but I find that if you do this, it's more secure for the necklaces and it just kind of adds a little bit of a, a detail to the project to make it a little bit more special. I measured these ones about an inch and a half in, and you can add more grooves if you want to add more grooves and just uh, add more necklaces into those grooves as well. Be careful when you're using the handsaw. Um, I look pretty sketchy in this video when I'm using it, but I felt pretty confident while I was doing it. So just be sure that you're safe when you're using your little handsaw. You don't need to go super deep. They just need to be deep enough for the necklaces to kind of uh, rest into a little bit. Make sure you follow your guides. That way your necklaces are resting really smoothly in those nooks. Line them up and maybe get your measuring tape out again and start to figure out where you're going to put your hinges right here. I like to center mine really really well and just make sure that it's really even because you don't want your hinges to be askew because if they're not perfectly centered it's not going to stand up perfectly straight either. So line it up and this is the easy part you guys. The package that I bought with the with the little hinges came with screws of its own. They're really short, simple little screws and they take no muscle and no strength to screw in. It's really simple. Now just continue to screw all of those little pieces in. Again, make sure you have it lined up and centered really well though. That's really the key with this project is just being accurate with your groove lines and also with your hinge screws. Once you've got both of those in, this is the finished project and I hope you guys like it. Enjoy and thanks for watching.
Bye.